My name is Lindsay Alexander, and I come from Mississippi. I was born in Hollis, Spain, Mississippi in 1942. And I migrated to Memphis at an early age, about 16 or something like that, or 15, whatever it was. Then I came to Chicago. And I got to Chicago, and that's where I stayed at. I became a musician was that um, I was living in Memphis and um, I had a, a friend that played guitar. I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't really say he was a professional, but he played and I couldn't play, so he, made, he was better than me. So he used to play, come by my house every day and he'd bring a guitar. And he sat there and played tunes, and he would show me the ones he played, and I would play them, you know, but... Um, and one day he came by my house, and he left his guitar, and I'd never seen him again. So I just picked up the guitar and started doing what he was doing. One note led to another note, and before time I had worked out a song. Since I fell, I fell for you. So in terms of that, I moved to Chicago, me and my brother, but I, the reason I come to Chicago, I was following a female, you know, that had came down on vacation from Chicago. And I knew I had a brother here, so me and my brother, we got a ticket and came to Chicago and lived with my older brother. So in the meantime, I was hanging around clubs looking at Howlin' Wolf and Left the Diz and all those kind of guys. I uh, went and bought a guitar after I got here. I was playing around it and a couple of guys said, well, I'm gonna buy a bass and we can get a band. The other guy bought a set of drums and we got together and we called ourselves the Hot Tomatoes. And we used to go to a talent show, so that was my introduction to Owen music, not in blues. Your love me higher than I've ever been lifting before. The way I got into to blues, I was I was an R and B musician. And the way I got into blues is a is a guy came to me one day, he said, Hey, uh, I got a friend he going to jail for about 18 months or something like that and for doing dope and shit, you know, so. Uh, he asked me, could I play at a going away party to jail? Do I know how to play booze? I said, yes, really, I didn't. But when I got to the gig, something told me, you can play this. And so we got together and we played some blues. From then on, I played in that place for eight, nine years. So that's how I got into blues. I started learning blues then, you know. I'm a bad man.
my influence is, is uh, about the health and strength of God that give me this talent to be what I am, to be the person that I am, to uh, if I ask for something, I receive it. Just influences. My biggest influence is me, that I push myself to be good as anybody else, not like nobody else, as good as anybody else. And those are my influence. I figure if I keep striving for a goal, I'll reach it. Well, I have to go uh, lean toward B.B. King because uh, I know B.B. before I know anybody. So there's B.B., Albert, and like a Stevie Ray Vaughan, people like that, you know. So that's my influence. definition is the blues is life and that is like a, a, a documentary of the hard time I seen the bad times I seen the good time I seen this is the blues it's a sad story being told but in the end it's happiness at the end of it so that's my definition of blue that I would explain it in my life that I I have went through a lot of changes seen a lot of changes been a lot of places but it's always new places I say I'm going up on the roof woman you don't put some things on my mind I feel like I am really delivering a message that I am really telling people about myself, or how to feel, and I'm really trying to strike something in my audience's heart to let them feel my notes, my voice that I'm delivered to them, you know. The, that's how I feel about it when I'm playing. And the more the audience responds, the better I get. You don't have to be born in the United States to be understand this music. You can have guts for this music. You can have feeling for this music. And it, it, if you hit a musician that's gonna play and start hitting these notes in the blue, you're not gonna forget those licks. They're gonna be there for you. And you're gonna use them when they come time. You kill all the, uh, 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 all the guys that uh, that's playing rock and roll or playing mellow, uh, uh, heavy metal, all these the same notes that come from the blues. You just interpret them a different way, you know. And I do believe there are great musicians that plays the blues and, and deliver, you know. 
So he, uh, he or she have to do what they feel for themselves that they can deliver this, I'm gonna deliver this package and I'm gonna deliver it right, you know. So that's where you, that's where you interpret it and go get it. See, blues is not just playing guitar. Blues is a delivering of a message that's been sent through the music to you. Now, it's simple, but it's hard. said blues never die. I think you is committed to the blues and that you would do your best to keep it up. I think you do your best to keep it up and keep the blues up the way it's supposed to be and do your part in it, you know, to keep it alive because this is I, this is something from seeing you and playing with you. This is something you like too. This is something you enjoy doing. So I don't worry about that because I know you're going to keep it there, you know. <laughs>